Hi, this is Peter Kenshin1913 along with Dad. And this is another Cooking with Kenshin1913. What are we going to be making today? Uh, today we make uh, fried zucchinis over uh, pasta. Could be spaghetti, linguinis, any kind of pasta, long pasta you like it. It's totally vegetarian. What are the ingredients we're going to be needing here? Uh, zucchinis, one medium onion, uh, we use a, a, a pound of uh, linguine mm -hmm. and a cup of olive oil, garlic, um, salt, and pepper. Yeah. Uh, uh, to crushed, taste. Crushed red pepper. Now, what you, and how many zucchini are you using here? Uh, six zucchini, which uh, they come to a couple of pounds, pound okay. and a half, too. So, why don't you show people. Okay, you. you I, I use the. Mandolin to cut the zucchini because it, it, this way they all the same size thickness So if you use a, a mandolin you got to watch out because it's very dangerous You can cut you, you, your finger Yeah So yeah, my dad's already pre-cut a whole bunch of these And yeah, you definitely want to be very careful. We've heard some horror stories with uh, We actually know one person who really screwed themselves up on the mandolin, but then again, she wasn't using it correctly, so that happens. Anyways, as you use this mandolin, if you don't have one, obviously... You can slice them by hand. Yeah, of course. The, but, the, uh, the only thing that they don't have, they're not the same thickness. The, yeah. You know, they, with the mandolin, they come all the same thickness. So when you get to the end, to save your, hand, your finger, uh, you use the attachment to slide them back and forth. I think that's what, that's what my, uh, well, I'll just say my aunt did it. But she did. Anyways, now that we have all these zucchinis here, what do we gotta do? Okay. The zucchini that are ready. Would you slice the onion in, in the mandolin? Um, you could, but I, I won't. It comes better if you slice them. Right, so now that's one a, cup of olive oil. That's one whole cup of olive oil in your frying pan. Yeah, you would, uh, you turn the stove on it. Yeah, you make got the hot action. Okay. As soon as the oil is hot, you put your zucchini in. Now, how long does this usually take to uh, cook the zucchini? Uh, in an half an hour, everything should because uh, while you cook the zucchini, you boil the water, start yeah. to cook the macaroni. You got the water and, going uh, in here. In an half an hour, it should be everything should be done. So what you want to do in the beginning? Do you want to do you want to salt any of this at this point? No, you 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 get to put the the flavors, the salt and pepper, while they cooking. Yeah, so what my dad's just going to do now is he's just going to chop that onion up and uh, he's just going to chop the onion up and as you can hear in the background, Stella is here once again. She is here a lot when we are cooking. But yeah, so it's going to take about a half hour to, uh, to, to cook this and apparently he's just throwing in the onion. But yeah, I would let the oil be really nice and hot before you threw it in there. And uh, we'll, I'll, what we'll do is, uh, once my dad's done cutting this onion, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll come back at different stages so you can see how the uh, how the zucchini should be cooking. But yeah, this is a really easy and simple recipe to do in case you are growing your own you had your own garden going and you still have some leftover zucchini. Or oh, when it is. We're in season of the day, they, their price that's not that high. Yeah. You know. So now my dad's just kind of breaking apart the onion a little bit. And he's pretty much cutting the onion the same size as the zucchini. And I don't know if you can start, you can hear that, but you can kind of start hearing like the, the oil starting to sizzle a little bit. 
So what we'll do is we'll come back when uh, when the zucchini's uh, kind of cooking some more, and then you know we'll show you the various stages for the zucchini. Okay, the, the zucchini are uh, cooking, starting to cook. They get soft. They're starting to get soft. So, so now my dad's throwing little, some salt. A little salt. As you can see, and he has mixed it with the spatula there. Now he's just going to throw in some uh, uh, fresh ground pepper. Yeah. Uh, we got tricolor pepper. You can use black if you, you want. You can use black. Or yeah. crushed red pepper, whatever. And uh, I'm going to put some of the crushed red pepper. And a few like them spicy. You can put pep crushed pepper. Red pepper. Yep, so we'll come back. Uh, we'll actually and, uh, and show them how you're flipping it. You, you, uh, you're just going from the bottom. Yeah, you, you get them from the bottom, and as uh, you, you, you see, it starts to change the color, gets a little brownish. Yeah, that's how you know and it's starting to go. It's starting to cook. And usually, this, this uh, when they all are uh, dark brown. Uh, even a little darker. That's when they go on the macaroni. Mm -hmm. So we'll come back when they're a little more brown. Okay. You keep them, keep them on turning. As you see, they changing color. They coming, starting to get br all brown. And they're all the other one. They all soft. That means they three quarter cooked. As you can see, the, when we started, the frying pan was full to the top. The zucchini shrinks. When they cook, they shrink a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, at this time, you can, turn, you can turn the water on it, start to boil the water for the macaroni this way. While you fi those, the zucchini finish to cook, you, you get the macaroni ready, and, at the same, and they be ready at the same time. Alright, so we'll be back when this is all done and we're going to throw in our spaghetti. Okay, did you see the, the zucchini that are almost ready? Pretty much ready at this point. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to lower the heat a little bit, this way they don't burn. And uh, now we're going to... Uh, the water is boiling. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put the macaroni in here. So what are we using now? We're using uh, linguine. You can uh, use we, 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 you can use any kind of long pasta you like. We use linguine, but you can use spaghetti or linguine or whatever you like. It long long yeah. macaroni. Now we're just gonna cook this to uh, the, the egg to, to the direction. Ar, ar, ar dente. Yeah. Um, so following the direction on them. And one thing you want to know is that we had it's been pretty much a half hour for the zucchini here. About a half hour it should look like this. So we'll be back to uh, put everything together. Now we put the macaroni. I'm gonna put them in, right. straight in the pan. This way they get nice and coated with the oil and. Uh, Yeah, you want you want uh, you don't really need to put any since we already got a lot of oil in here. You don't really need to put any pasta oil. I guess you could if you really want, so just to give the uh, zucchini a little more flavor, I guess. If you're trying to make a sauce, but we already got a uh, by having all the oil, the oil coats the macaroni. You really don't yeah. need the pasta water. So what we'll do? Get too soupy. Yeah. So what we'll do is we will plate this up and we will eat it. And this is the finished product. Finished product. Hmm? There is a little cheese sprinkled on top. Yep, and Dad's gonna eat it because I'm not a fan of zucchini. Not a big fan. So we'll get some of that zucchini there too. Okay, get the good stuff. 
But yeah, so this is a pretty vegetarian di dinner. Fairly cheap too. If you can find zucchini in season and on sale. So what do you think, Pop? Good? You feel like you're getting a lot of flavors? Yes. Delicious. Yeah. So uh, this has been Pete. Or Kenshin1913 along with... Dad. And this has been another Cooking with Kenshin1913. Buon appetito.